Hey what's up everyone, in today's video we will make a javascript function to calculate the exponential moving average. By the way, under the video there should be a link to the exercise file to follow along. Alright, let's go first to the explanation of what the exponential moving average is. To calculate the exponential moving average, it's very easy. So first we need the average. Then we need a multiplier and then we need the EMA. This is our data set here. So we have numbers 8, 13, 6, 9, 12, 5, 22, 13, 8, 17. We're going to calculate an EMA exponential moving average of 4. That means we're going to use for every 4 periods we're going to calculate the, uh, the exponential moving average. So the first one is going to be the first average which is going to be uh, 8 plus 13 plus 6 plus 9 is 36 divided by 4 that gives us the first value the first average is 9 and this 9 comes here so that that comes over here so this is our first number for the exponential moving average so this is gonna be null 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 because we don't have enough data to calculate four steps. Um, so anyway, this is our first number for the exponential moving average. Now we need to calculate the multiplier. The multiplier is two divided by the periods plus one. So that's two divided by the periods. We take a period of four plus one, which is two divided by five is 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 is our multiplier. Now to calculate the, the next EMAs, we take the value, which is this one, for next one 12, minus the EMA from the previous day, which is 9, times the multiplier, which is 0 0.4, plus the EMA from the previous day, which is the 9 again. So let's do this. So to calculate this number here, we have to go, we take 12, which is <clears throat> our value, minus 9, that's the EMA from previous day, times 0 0.4, which is our mu multiplier, and then plus EMA previous day is 9, and it gives us 10.2, okay, that goes here. 10.2 okay so next one same thing so we take 5 which is our number our current value minus the EMA previous day which is 10.2 times our multiplier 0 0.4 plus the EMA previous day again 10.2 and that gives us 8.12. Okay, and so that goes here, 8.12. And so we continue for the next, um, for the next ones. Okay, so all the values are worked out. So we got all the numbers here. So the EMA is pretty simple as you can see. So to uh, go over it again. So we need to calculate our first number for the EMA is basically just um, an average or an SMA. So to start with this number, we take the average of, of these four numbers and then, <clears throat> which is nine. And this nine we, we use to calculate this formula here. And this formula is basically the value again. So the 12 minus the EMA previous day, which is the nine times the multiplier which we calculate here 0 0.4 um, plus the EMA from the previous day which is 9 again and it gives us the next one which is 10 10.2 and so on so on so on very very easy all right let's move on to the code all right so um, let's see we will start with um, function avg function for the average AVG and we have to pass in the values which are going to be the close prices um, so we will use reduce 
um, reduce method uh, reduces an array to a single value uh, depending on on what the function inside the reduce method is so let's sum is and then values dot reduce and we'll pass in so we will use accumulator and the current value Alright, uh, we will use a uh, arrow method and then return accumulator plus and parse float because usually we get um, JSON data from the exchanges um, or from servers, so that's usually in string format, so we have to convert it to a float uh, and then current value. All right, and that should be it, right? Um, okay. Zero, we don't have to do anything with that. Then let's AVG is, and that's sum divided by values dot length. Values dot length, all right. Uh, and then re return avg and let's see if we console log this um, av avg and then close prices all right save and let's see if this works yeah it works so we got um, we got the average here, so this function works. Uh, by the way, to um, uh, to use the console, usually you have to press F12 to open the console, the browser. All right. Okay, let's go back to the code. Next thing we gotta do is um, get the <coughs> make the exponential moving average function. So we will call it EMA. So function EMA, and we have to pass in values, which is going to be the close prices later, and then the period. And we will set it standard to 9, um, because it's used quite a lot um, in technical analysis for the for the exponential moving average. Um, so what we need, we need to have the multiplier. Multiplier. Liar, all right, and that's um, that's two divided by um, the period plus one, all right. Then the periods we will. So we will make the period minus one, so it's, it's period minus one. Okay, so that's because the index starts at zero uh, instead of one. So we have to do the period minus one and then um, let previous EMA and for now that's null because we don't need it now. All right, now let's um, let EMA and that's values. And we will map. Um, the map method uh, basically just returns a new array um, with whatever functions being calculated into that uh, method. Um, so we have the value, the current value, the index, and then the array we're working with. We will we'll use the arrow function. All right. Um, all right. First, we will see if the index is smaller than the period. This means whether um, we have enough uh, values to calculate. 
Um, so if index is smaller than periods, then basically set values to um, zero. Um, else and then else means so else um, and then if the index is period which means for the first calculation of the value we have to calculate the, the average or the SMA in order to later calculate the EMA so if index is period which means if it's the first uh, value so if index is period then um, let sub array is then array dot slice um, index minus period and then index plus one. Okay, so slice array between those two uh, values, and then value is avg, we call our function, um, and then sub array, so we pass in the sub array, and that should be it. And then else, so this is the else, this will be the normal calculation for the EMA. Value is. Um, value minus previous EMA times um, multiplier, which we calculated, multiplier um, plus previous EMA. Okay. And then the previous EMA, we will store the previous EMA for next calculation. So previous EMA um, is the value. So this will come back in the next iteration. And then we have to return the value. Return val. And then return the EMA. Okay, let's see if this works. Uh, so if we console log um, EMA and then close prices and then let's say an EMA of nine, as which is a standard value, save. And we go to, and works perfect. Now to plot these things, um, I'm not gonna explain how to plot, uh, I will make, um, I will make another tutorial about how to use uh, how to plot stuff on a, on a chart. I'm using basically chart.js, um, which is a quite good library for charting. Um, so basically, to plot the chart, I'm gonna copy paste some code. Um, and here we go. Perfect. EMA. That's it. Done. That's all for today. Um, pretty easy as you can see. Um, did you like this video? Please click the like button, subscribe for more videos to come. See you next video. Bye.